How's it going fellow pickers? Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel where you can find online videos to help you teach yourself how to play mandolin, guitar, banjo, or resonator. This lesson actually comes in as a special request. We got a couple requests for it. We're going to be taking a look at how to play Wagon Wheel. Uh, if you're familiar with this tune, you know that it's the two main versions are done by the Old Crow Medicine Show and it was covered by Darius Rucker. We're going to be taking a look at how to play the rhythm on the mandolin and then we're going to take a look at both of their intros. If you've listened to the tunes, you know that the intros were actually done by fiddles, so we're going to be transferring that over onto the mandolin, which shouldn't be too hard because they use the same tuning. But we're also going to see if we can't take some of those articulations and double stops that the fiddle players are doing and use them in our mandolin playing. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's take a look. Okay, so before we get into the melody, let's take a look at how to play the rhythm for this song. I'm going to be putting the chord charts right here, so hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Um, and the rhythm on this isn't too hard. There's only four chords, so we're playing an A chord, an E chord, an F sharp minor chord, and a D chord. And we're going to give four beats each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now the second time you go through that, you're just going to skip the F sharp minor and then give the D eight beats. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so you, that's the same for both the verse and the chorus. That's all they're going to do. Okay, so let's take a look at the intro from Old Crow Medicine Show. Uh, this one is it has a few syncopated sections, uh, so you're going to want to watch my right hand pretty closely to kind of see where we're picking when. And I'm going to try to make it as clear as possible uh, in the demonstrations. Um, so if you listen to the tune, they go through the chords. And when you get to that D chord, you're going to be coming in on the beat three. And you're going to be playing on the D string, two, four, go over to the A, play open A, two, and then a hammer on from two to four, followed by another four. Then here, he's going to play the 5th fret and do a little kind of a trill from 4 to 5 to 4. So he's doing a hammer on from 4 to 5 and a pull off back to 4. And then play the 4th fret again, followed by two Bs on the 2nd fret. And then he has this nice kind of run of pull-offs and hammer-ons there. So he's doing a pull-off from 4 to 2. And then open A, hammer-on to 2, and pull-off back to open A. And then a hammer-on from 2 to 4 on your D string. Go back down to two, four, and then the sixth fret. And then two open A strings. And 
both of those are going to be on upstrokes. And then he walks up, two, four, five, open E, so B, C sharp, D, open E. To the C sharp on the A string, open E. F sharp on the second fret of your E string, open E, back to the C sharp on the fourth fret of your A. Then you're going to go down to the E on the second fret of your D string, and back to open A. Now one kind of trick that I like to do in that section is to do a slide in. So instead of doing that first open E, you could also do a slide in from 6 to 7 on your A string. down to the C sharp and do the rest of it exactly the same. So you have those two options. You have the easier one um, or you have one that has kind of a fiddle ornamentation in it. And either one's going to come across well. Now here you can do this also two ways. You can do basically just the B on the second fret of the A string and play an A, so B, A, B, A. Or you can also slide into that to get another fiddle ornamentation. So from the first fret into the second fret. So from there you can play the open E. Play the 4th fret of your A string to play the C sharp, 5th fret to play the D, down to B. And then you're going to go back up to the 4th fret to play the C sharp, 5, back to 4, down to 2, open A. And just do a walk down, 6, 4, 2 on your D string. And you're gonna go back up to the 4, 7, 4, 2, open, and go over to your G string and play 6, 4, 2. And from here, they ended off with some double stops. So our first double stop, you're going to be playing the fourth fret of your G string and the second fret of your D string. And you're going to do a hammer on on your G string up to the sixth fret. And then you're going to go up with your pinky, reach up to the 7th fret, and do a little trill, 6, 7, 6, on your G string. You're going to take your ring finger off, so you're back down to the 4 and the 2. Another trill, so 4, 6, 4. And then you're going to go from that 4 down to the 2, so you're just going to kind of do a little bar with your pointer finger to play both those. And you're going to reach back up, play the 4th fret with another trill. Okay, so as for the kickoff in the Darius Rucker version, um, it is a little bit different. We have a bigger lead-in. So we come in a little bit sooner. So in the Darius Rucker version, you have your A chord, you have your E chord, and on the downbeat of that F sharp minor chord, you should be hitting that C sharp. But we're kind of leading into it. 
with a hammer on from two to four, or the two to the C sharp, so B to the C sharp, on the A string, so two to four. And you're gonna do the hammer on, play an open E on the upstroke. And then back down to the B with another open E on the down, uh, upstroke. Open A, open E on the down stroke following. Then go over to the second fret of your D string, play your E note. And then you're going to do a hammer on from that second fret to the fourth fret. And then back down to two. And then once I get down to that D string, I like to start. I basically switch off and hit the A, open A on my upstrokes. And then you have the same lead-in that you did in the old Crow Medicine Show one. So you're doing two, four on your D string, open two, and then hammer on from two to four on your A string. So after that lead-in, you're going to give that C sharp a couple strums and go up to the seventh fret instead of your fifth fret like we did in Old Crow Medicine Show. You're going to go down to the fourth fret, play the second fret, back up to four, and back down to two, and play two of those twos. And then play another two, and you can either do a, I do a pull off, or you could just do, you know, you could just pick it again. Go down to the sixth fret of your D string, and then a hammer on from two to four on your uh, D string. And again, we're gonna reach up to the seventh fret of our D string, and then play four and two. So then you're gonna play the open D, the sixth fret of your G string, back to open D, two, four, six, and your open A. And then here, leading into, we're going to lead into a double stop. You're going to play the second fret of your A string. And you're going to do a double stop, so your pointer finger is going to be on the second fret of your uh, D string. And you're going to play the third fret of your A string leading into the fourth fret. So you can either slide your middle finger up or you can do a hammer on. I would kind of recommend doing this slide because we have to reach back up to the seventh fret and it's going to be a little, I think, more comfortable. So reaching up to the seventh fret of your uh, A string, playing back down to four, two, and then open. And then you're going to go back up to the fourth fret of your uh, A string and play an E double stop. So you're gonna have your G sharp on the sixth fret of your D string and play the second fret of your A string. And you're gonna just do a little walk down four, two, zero. And then from here, just to kind of end it out, You're gonna do a walk down four, two, zero on your D string. And then you're gonna go back up to four and play the two. And then instead of going to the zero the second time, you're gonna to go to the sixth fret of your G string, play an open D, back to the sixth fret, open D, and then walk that up, two, four, six, open A, and then back down, six, four, two.
And that's it. That's the Darius Rucker intro.